everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Fighter, and I'm back today with another 12 by 12 scrapbook process video for you. I am using an old hip kit club kit here for this layout, and I'm just going through all of the stuff and see what I want to use. So there's not a lot of papers in here left that I want to use. Um so I think this is the last layer that I actually will do with this kit. But anyways, um, I am scrapping this picture of Mary and I. Um, I was just outside, I think I was taking photos of the sky or something. And she did legs, which means she, um, she would, when she runs towards me, she's sitting down in, in between my legs. So that's a, a thing she's, you know, I trained her to do. Uh, and then I looked down at her and she was like having the most like ridiculous facial expression. She was, she looks like she's so annoyed with the world right now. And so of course I had to take a picture. Actually I take, I took two pictures. Look at her. Oh my God. I can't even, this is the, yeah, no, there are some pictures that I just am obsessed with and love. And this is one of them. Anyways, I was talking about the layout, uh, uh, about the picture the whole time, sorry. So, um, the background paper is from Pinkfresh Studio. Actually, all of the three papers that I'm going to use are from Pinkfresh. I trimmed down two pieces of that floral paper because I'm going to have a strip on the left and one on the right. One is bigger than the other and that is on purpose. <laughs> and this is just a leftover from another layout that I did. I used my edge distressor on all, all of the sides um, to give it a bit of like extra dimension and texture. And this took a while. Like this takes time, people. Like anyways, uh, coincidentally coincidentally, sorry, I can't talk, this background is the exact same color um, than my um, sweat, like my jumper that I was wearing, which is um, crazy. But anyways, I just put down, oh my god, that is crooked. Did I? Wow, that is so crooked. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So I just put down uh, tape and again, some tape and then I put down my strips of patterned paper so you know I kind of make it easy on myself I think I'm not sure if I, if that's the easiest way but that's how I did it so yeah I really love this blue pattern it's really really pretty and this I pop up on some foam tape to give it even more dimension and fun so having to Put away all of the backing tape. There we go. And then just put it onto my layout. And then I just ruffled up the edges even more. And I kind of ripped in some places and bent it over the paper. Which I really love. So then um, I thought about um, backing this photo. But I didn't... Um, just used some, what's it called, tissue paper um, to back it with. It does has a, ha, I can't talk, it does have a rip in it, but that really doesn't matter because I'm gonna, you know, cover it up anyways. So, there is that. I do, oh yeah, I do end up using this leftover here. Um, actually end up using all of this paper. Um, I just stripped it and tore it and did all of the things. So I have some borders and stuff. Wasn't quite sure how I wanted it. I think there was one word that said something and I didn't really want that but uh, it does, I can't remember the word, but it is upside down. But I was like, okay, I don't care. And then I actually got it that really, really badly um, formed paper because it was cut in a million times. But now I have all four sides cut. So, uh, cut, backed, sorry. Which is cool. Just a little tape on the back so I don't have to put all of the adhesive 
everywhere, which I think is the easiest way. I mentioned this before. It's just, I find it super easy. Oh yeah, I, rem uh, I realized that it was kind of like totally crooked, so I ripped it. And there we go. There's a lot of colors going on and it still pops off the page, which I like. Oh my god, I love her look so much. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. But anyways, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I think... No, I don't know what I'm doing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I had to get some more from tape because um, it was empty. Like I used after all, I think at least. Um, I had these, um, what are they called? Uh, butterflies? They're from a Maggie Holmes paper that was also in the kit. And I just have these off cuts. And I actually end up using, I think I have only two or something. And um, yeah, I just used them in those places. That I really love the green one that kind of like pops out of the, um, like the little rip that I made earlier. Um, I love the smile. This is from Paige Evans. I don't think that I end up using any of the wood veneer, but I could be wrong. But no, I don't. I don't think. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh my goodness. So I had to be a bit aware of where I put my photo because of the two butterflies. I really wanted to use this. This is a part of a branding strip, also from Maggie Holmes. And I did distress that really, really badly because I love the look of it. Oh my god. And I don't, yeah, I don't think I do I edit at the blue part. I honestly don't remember. Oh yeah, I do. And I ripped it some more and I do make a cluster up there as well as... Um, Next to the or yeah, next to the both of the butterflies, use some of the um, buttons from the BU collection by Pink Fresh. I love that smile. Um, it's so cute. It's chipboard by the Page Evans set, and of course I need a third piece for the other one because I always have to have three. So I use this tiny little heart, and on this one I use like the. XX stitching mark kind of looking thingy. I don't think I even go through this. Um, I try some things, but I'm like, yeah, no, I don't actually need any ephemera because my layout was for me busy enough. Um, this was the page turner thingy, like it said, page turner, um, but I don't end up using that. So I was, I was thinking about. A title, and actually, I am using a German title. Who would have thought? Um, is that even spelled correctly? I think. Yeah. So the title is Begeisterung, which means um, excitement is the literal translation, but um, it is more like used, like not impressed. And I actually thought of that after I was done, and I was really, really mad because I would have liked that more. Um, to use not impressed or not amused would actually be the, the better title even. So um, because it is quite a long word, I decided to put it right there on the side of the layout. I'm sorry, Marcia just um, changed beds and one of the beds is really like loud if you move in it. And then uh, I did just off camera the the gluing because I glued every letter down and I was looking for one little thing next to the word like my title um, I went through the uh, ephemera pack again but I didn't use anything and then I found this heart in a similar shade of blue than the blue paper by Paige Evans the, the chipboard thickers then I just put it on some tissue paper cut it out and um, Glued it next to the title, which I really love, and this actually finishes my lid. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm sorry. The sun is acting all weird lately because it's that time of year where it changes every five seconds. So I'm sorry, it's quite dark right now. I used some Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine in my three clusters to sprinkle a bit of 
gold and that actually finishes my layout so here you can see everything up close i really like this layout look at her face i mean like seriously can can this be more cute look at her oh my goodness she's so annoyed <laughs> with the world but it didn't make her do it i was just outside and she literally came to me and i was like what are you doing so i looked down and saw this which i'm very thankful for but anyways that was my layout for you today i really hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye